Hello, welcome back to the channel. You join me and Taylor Hetherington of TaylorMade Cars for another video on the channel. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be blowing the doors off the budget, aren't we? Taylor, would you like to fill in the good people of what we're doing? So today we're going to go to a car auction and we're going to try and find a car for less than £3,000 and we're going to see what we can get for our money. Yeah, because the plan is we want to buy the best car we can from an auction. We're thinking, I don't know, luxury, speed, you know, a big brand, yeah? Yeah, something so, nice. Something that people will look at us and be like, they make too much money. That's what we want to go yeah. for. So we're going to be heading to Letchworth Motor Auctions very soon. And when we're there, we're going to be checking out all of the cars with this week's video sponsor, Car Vertical, which means that we can see the history of the car. We can check out photos of any damage that's been done and we can be sure that whatever car we buy is going to be A1. And that's because Car Vertical is the largest online database of used vehicles in over 30 countries. With Car Vertical, you can check for hidden damage, make sure the car's mileage is accurate, see photos of accidents it may have been in, as well as giving you access to a vehicle service history, common faults, theft records, and more. Take this 2015 Porsche Boxster as an example. It's a car you could expect to see on a lot of online marketplaces, where a vehicle's history isn't always as described. But with a quick car vertical check, you can see immediately that this particular Boxster has an amber warning for accidents. And sure enough, a quick scroll reveals it was recorded as damaged in August 2016. In the damage report, more details reveal that it was classified as a Category D write-off, which, as you'll see from the pictures below, shows the full extent of the damage. Probably one to avoid then. Additionally, this 320D has amber warnings for both mileage and accidents. And as you can see in 2020, the mileage report has a massive dip. As for damage, Car Vertical again reveals a Category D write-off, with front-end damage visible in multiple pictures. Anyway, if you guys want to check out a car's history using Car Vertical, then take advantage of the promo code AUTOALEX for 10% off. Should we get going to the auction? Let's go. Let's go. And here we are at Letchworth Motor Auctions. We are not leaving without a motor vehicle tonight. No. Even if that means having to buy a Nissan Juke. That's not happening. No, no, yeah, I draw the line at that. Anyway, let's take a look inside. See what we can find. Let's do that. Peugeot, don't want that. Insignia, don't want that. This is all the boring this is stuff. Nice. A van? Yeah. Wow, look, it's actually killed a man. The back's come off. Oh, dear. Is that feces? Definitely feces. Let's move on. <laughs> but before we did, a quick car vertical report revealed that this van was also written off in August 2014. So with feces on top, probably not one for us. This is a Volvo V40 cross country. So it's 1.5 petrol. Diesel. T3. Petrol. I'll give him that. Yeah, I reckon that's quite a lot. Probably like... I'm saying 12. 10 grand. 15 grand. We can't afford that. But we can afford... Another BMW. This looks proper basic bitch, doesn't it? It's got new pads and discs on it. Headlights need a bit of a polish up. What is it? 20D? 20D. Looking at it, guess the mileage. 150K. 180. Ooh. It's got to be like two, two and a half grand, isn't it? 710 to 1,000 pounds. Everyone keeps on saying no more BMWs, but we know what they really mean, like more BMWs. It's like the old James Bonds. The woman would be like, no, James. Like, yes, no, yes. No, no, yes, yes. And then passionately kiss them. It's like that with you. you oh. Central locking works. I don't have any cars with working central locking. This for me is a modern car. Oh my God, look at the size of the sat nav. It's tiny. Oh yeah, where's the, where's the rest of it? Shall I start it up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. <laughs> what? They've put the later gear knob on it, but it's the older gearbox. Look how shit that is. That's nice though, we like that. Car number one, in the bag. Oh no, you're around. All right, let's keep looking around. A car from the auction has been here, Rory, and it's shit. What does it taste like? <clears throat> Ooh. It's not nice, Rory, that shit. Rubbish. Too modern. That's clapped out. That SLK looks a bit buggered. The roof has probably manually been put up because these windows should be up as well. This is exactly the same problem we have with ours. We forced it up and now this, these windows don't work. So don't buy this. This is crap. That's this rubbish. looks nice. Oh, 
500. Ooh. Five litre V8? I like this. This will be good. This will be cheap, won't it? From 1950 to 2250. This is a lot of car. For this that. is a lot of car. Oi. Oh. It's got air suspension as well, look. Ooh. Raise it up. Does that work? Yeah. Oh, wow. Active body control, vehicle roll. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, you've gone really high. We've got an off-roader. And then we'll go back down. Yeah. Is oh. it going? Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> that sounds all right. Walk past as if we were driving past you. You wanna buy some cocaine? <laughs> all right, shall we have a look what car vertical is saying? View report. Vehicle is not wanted as stolen. There is no data about the vehicle being damaged. Not recorded as having outstanding finance. We've got green ticks everywhere. Mileage report looks good. 730D. This is nice. <laughs> Guide price from 4525 to 4925. Wow. Oh, so maximum five grand. Is that it? There's got to be something wrong with There's it. There's got to be something Rory wrong. Rory keys? With it. You got keys? It sounds a little bit rattly. Well, 111,000. Is this an M57 as well? Or is no, this N57. N57. So it suffers with time and chain issues. Oh. 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 Open the bonnet, let's have a listen. Oh. I'm going to switch it off. That's not good, is it? That will be why it's cheap. And that will be why it's in an auction. Should we, should we give this one a miss? Yeah. 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 Oh, what is that? Imagine. We could go away together. Oh, wow. Look at it. It's so big. Is it open? Oh, 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 oh the wood. Oh, 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 look at the velour. Oh, it smells like, it smells like holiday. Oh, this brings me back to being like nine years old. Let's have a look. In the static caravans with mum. What can I get you? It's a shower! There's a toilet and everything. There's not. Oh, shit. Pretend you're on the toilet. Yeah, I'm on the yeah. toilet. I could be here just here for moral support. So, busy day. If it gets a bit pongy, sir, I'll just wave these around <laughs> a little bit. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 oh dear. This is nice. If things get really messy in here as well, you could just hose yourself off just like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Hello? Sorry, he's still, he's still on the toilet. Yeah. Oh. Can you hold on to that, please? Oh! What let's, is let's this? See. Look, I'm in the shower. Oh, this right, smells right. funny. Oh, oh <laughs> bleeding it! We've <laughs> 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 come to buy a car! <laughs> and I was so <laughs> I can't see why he's in the shower. I want this. <laughs> is this is nice. <gasps> The bed's up here! Oh! I love it! Good night. <laughs> this is the American dream right here, right? In England. In England. I like, also, look at the size of the dials, just in case you're blind. <laughs> oh, 12 and a half to 15. We can't afford that. But it's a house. We could get a wheels. cheaper one, though. This, is, this could maybe give us an idea for the future. We get a motorhome. And then we drive it to America. <laughs> it's you, Alex. Look, it's come from your dealership. Have a look at the exhaust. What's happened here? It's been fixed. Oh, <laughs> it's got yeah. a bandage on it. Oh, yeah. And this has already been replaced at some point. It's got a sticker in it and it's fallen off again. Yeah, Not very good engines. Renowned for timing chains and injectors and turbos. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Can you have a look at the engine? Oh, it stinks. Jesus. <laughs> I like it. It's a bit crap, but I, I do like it. I don't like, like it. it for 1,700 quid. Though. No. If it was 500 quid. Okay, so shall we give this one a miss? We'll give this one a miss. Yeah. But there's one thing that I've spotted. I think we've all probably spotted. Mm. It's okay. like a bigger version of this. Yeah, and it's nice. And it's over there. Should we check it out? That's nice. There's got to be something very wrong with it, though. So you've got, already got one of these, don't you? I have, yeah, it's broken. Okay. Yeah. And doesn't Barney have one of these? Yeah, and it's broken. Okay. This is nice. This is a bit of us, Rory. Really. So yeah, it's broken. Ah. If we get one, it would probably be... Broken. Broken as yeah. well. Oh. Oh, check coolant level. 
This one's a TDV8, isn't it? 3.6. Yeah. This is probably worth around, I'd say four and a half, five grand. Yeah. How about 2,400 pounds max? We'll have it old out your hand. Old out your This hand, is a right. lot of calf, two and a half grand. Is this heated? Uh, yeah. And you've got, I can see there, you've got the Harman Kardon sound system. That was, that was a very expensive what does this do glove box oh and it's got a top glove box oh. as well oh oh wow with a cd changer and seated heats in the does rear does the air suspension work uh should we try it down oh yeah oh is it doing it on all of them yeah wow it goes usually front first and then back oh, afterwards okay what about sunroof oh rory does it suit me? I, I like it. Do you like it? Uh, Taylor? Do we have an issue? There's, there's something carrying the <laughs> from this front wheel. What's up with it, Rory? It's like it's not attached. <laughs> it does feel a bit funny. Is it better than the CL500? Yes. Do you reckon? Yes. What? The thing is, that CL500 looks like it's It doesn't matter. It's so classy, that thing. That is, it just screams. This, Money. This, no. This yes, screen. no. Let's do a quick car cover. Yeah, car. yeah. Make sure it's it's not been any in any dealings. All green, all green. Mileage all stacks up. No uh, mileage anomalies or anything like that. No, green every is. literally everything is good. Okay. Okay. Green, green, green. All right, so let's valuation as well. Sorry, approximate valuation, three six ninety. <laughs> when it's working. I'm excited. So the auction start. Oh, actually, the auction starts in half an hour. 25 minutes. 25 minutes. So this isn't actually a physical auction where everyone gathers around and then goes around the parapet, 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 where the man goes, this is where you have to leave and then you just go on your phone and you live bid. So we're probably going to be outside the front, sitting in the X5, getting really excited, bidding on cars that we don't need. Okay, so as you can probably hear, the auction has started. We are outside sitting in the X5. The cars are actually behind us in that building there. And uh, we're currently looking at a, a really shitty combo van. It has got a yellow flashing light on the roof. Oh, that's true, that's true. Which is a big thing. Shall we? That's not a lot. You bit of shit. No, no. <laughs> oh my God. It only went for 25 quid more than... Yeah! <laughs> we could have had a van! This is dangerous! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, lot number 11, this is a rear one, the auto trail, the Gatto, oh, yeah. the trail, the motor home here, 2001, this one, we'll be starting it off at 12,800 pounds. Uh, what? Stay <laughs> away from it. At 13,500 pounds. Oh, that is nice, Quite a lot of money, to be fair. Quite a lot of vehicle, though. Thank you, yeah. drivers, with me. BMW 520D, Don't pick it up. That's a good looking car. No, don't. No. Starting it at 600 pounds. Well, don't, don't be too keen. 650. Do you want a bid? Go on, bid. Wait, 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 no, we've got to play it cool. Oh, we want to at least get... Oh, okay. 750, you bid? 750, 75. 775, and 775 bid. All done? 775. We submit the bid, gentlemen. 775 it is, it goes away. Once, twice, originally sold then at 775. Yeah! Oh, my God, we've done it! We've done it! Apologies to the to the auctioneer man because you would have heard us screaming <laughs> just now. <laughs> that was provisional, yeah, yeah, but we can still negotiate yes, afterwards. We can. Yeah. So it would have had a reserve on it, and we haven't hit it. So yeah, we'll speak we to him and say, at least, give you at least with the highest bidder, we get first. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, oh the panda! That's already more than I'd want to spend. Yeah, yeah. Thirteen seventy-five. That went for <gasps> the Range oh, Rover. Oh my god! All right, what's up? What's the limit? What is it? 2250. Two, oh god, that's quite a lot actually, isn't it? 13 services with a car oh. and an MOT February. I've got two commission bidders, I'm starting oh. off at 1800 pounds. 18 oh. bid 50, bid 19, 50. Oh, it's going quick. Oh, oh you are oh. oh. 50, oh. 21, 50. Oh, you're going for it. 21, 50, it's on with me at 21, 50 oh. bid. 21, 50. Everyone out online. We need to bid. We said 250. We said 250. Do we want it? I don't want it. Do you want it? No. That was cheap to be fair. So this is the 7 series. 
series, the knotty one. Oh, let's see what poor sod bids on it. Dude, that is true. Yeah, but the engine is Oh, okay, so this Mercedes on the road price, £72,000. Over £72,000. That was new. Yeah. Right. Let's all have a poke. Oh, I haven't poked. All right, you have a, you have a Go for it. Fifteen fifty, sixteen hundred, sixteen with me. Sixteen hundred pound. We submitted a bit of sixteen fifty, seventeen. I've got it's all <gasps> division. Seventeen hundred pound to be champ. Seventeen fifty. I've got eighteen. <laughs> eighteen hundred pound. Eighteen fifty. I've got nineteen. Nineteen hundred. Nineteen fifty. I've got two thousand. At two thousand fifty, <gasps> we submitted a bit of two thousand fifty on the CR five hundred. Low mileage one as well. At two thousand fifty, we're going to submit it. Make no mistake. Come on! Come on! Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Two thousand and fifty pounds! Bloody hell! So we have bought two cars for under three grand. Yes, provisionally. And that's amazing because we said we wanted to buy one car for three thousand yeah. pounds. I think the only thing left to do now is to speak to the auctioneer and then try and get. Try and get them. Try, yeah, we want to pick them up today. I want yeah. to drive home in them. Yeah. yeah, let's go and speak to them. But before we headed inside to speak to the auctioneer, our friend and fellow shipmox aficionado, Luke Scrambler of Scrambler's Automotive, arrived to show us his latest purchase. Taylor and I have just bought those two cars that you would have seen. Meanwhile, our friend Luke has just arrived because you purchased this Range Rover from Letchworth today, didn't you? Yes. Tell us, what price did you pay for this Range Rover? So this was £950. So this was a direct from the bailiff car. Somebody either didn't pay a bill, left it where they shouldn't have, and as a result, the car was taken on a high ab, lifted up, like on an episode of Lizard Lick Towing, yeah. put on a trailer, and dumped in their car park with no keys and no way of moving it around. It's a bit like an episode of Storage Wars. I bought effectively a container for some stuff and it, couldn't, it might not have run, it could have been a heap, but it runs, it drives, it's driven six miles per hour. Wow. So we've really tested it. Oh, so you've actually driven it from there to here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it's... you've actually driven it properly. No, no, no. It has been six okay. miles per hour here and it works. But so you, you did have to get a key made for it, didn't you? I did you? have to get a key made. How, which was how much? £220. Yeah. So you've spent about a quarter already on a key? Yeah. Okay, but the interesting thing about this is because it's a repossession, it comes with stuff that was in the car because it's literally lifted from someone's house or wherever and taken away. So, so have you got some goodies? These fetching sunglasses. They say made in the USA. They're Ray-Bans. Well, it says made in the USA on them. Who They're knows? They're genuine Ray-Bans. Yeah. You know Look what? at the cushions. This shouts yeah. high quality ownership. Putting that cushions is, on the back seats nice. of your That's own That's how you know this car's not been thrashed. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh wow! Oh wow! You've got lots it's got of an over finch <gasps> wheel. Look at oh! Wait, do you mind if I just have a little room? I'll have a rummage through. I mean, I'm keeping all of it. <gasps> oh, they would look nice on you. Yeah. This is a bit. Oh of my me. goodness! <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome up. <laughs> all right. Go on, come on. <laughs> I've never been more aroused. Why can't we do anything? <laughs> <laughs> Night trial gloves. They're good. They're good for murdering. Mm. Oh. I was going to say. <laughs> They've been murdering. I'll pose for a band picture. <gasps> Go on. You won't. <laughs> <laughs> Buying repossession cars from auctions, I'm that's a, where it's at. I'm we a, need to get one. We need I'm to... a silver fox. I'm like Philip Schofield. It's an 18. I think that's about my <gasps> size. <gasps> what? <gasps> <laughs> you might want to take that off. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <gasps> Oh no! Should we go find out what's happening with that? Yeah, should we do that? With the bag of condoms now back in the Range Rover, we went inside to do a deal on the cars we provisionally won. So it is now a couple of hours later. Why don't we do a quick walk around? Obviously, this is the first time that we've seen the 520D in the daylight. I think this is a great buy. It's nice. Also, I didn't realize it's got new pads and discs on it. It's got new tires. I think it's had four new tires, actually. 
Um, the only bit of damage on it is the fact that that bumper doesn't line up. Yeah. Other than that, it needs a bit of a headlight polish and she's good to go. Yeah, so you're going to be driving the 520D. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to be driving the even more interesting uh, Mercedes-Benz CL500. It looks <laughs> slightly different in the daylight, doesn't it? I, I mean, maybe maybe it's the lighting. I think it's because it's metallic. And we've put the suspension in its high mode. So yes, yeah, we have. Yeah. And we've added inside. some a, a few doors and a few hundred kilos to it as well. Yeah. Uh, do you want to explain why the Mercedes looks more like a Range Rover now? The Mercedes sold to us provisionally and unfortunately the seller decided that he no longer wanted to sell it and then threw a ridiculous price at us yeah. of three and a half thousand pounds. So he wanted an extra 1500 quid because he's a maniac. Uh, this didn't hit reserve so we made an offer in the auction and we won it. Yeah, so For we're very happy. Price. And the good thing is as well is that we have achieved what we wanted to. The challenge was buying a really interesting cool car from auction for three grand. We've done that with two cars. Yep. So happy days. And this is a lot of car for the money. It's yeah. got a bigger engine than, well actually no, it's got a slightly smaller engine than Mercedes, but it has got two turbos. Exactly. And two turbos is better than no turbos. We're just going to enjoy a little road trip. Probably a few breakdowns because it's a Range Rover. You'll be breaking down, not me. All right, maiden voyage in the range. Sorry, no, the Mercedes CL 500. How was your first drive? Great experience? Yeah, it's great, but it does feel like this gear knob's gonna come off. I'm very happy to report that in my Range Rover, I have had zero breakdowns. Oh, you sit so high. I feel like, like a queen, like the queen. Oh, it's quite pokey as well. Oh. Oh, it's smoking a lot. No, it's just, it's just, oh my God, it's smoking a lot. Oh my God, it is smoking a lot. Is it really bad? <coughs> yeah, it's really bad. I think we've already had a breakdown. Maybe it's just like clearing its pipes a little bit. Maybe it's just not been run properly. <coughs> 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 Apart from that though, really great car. Rory in the X5, are we smoking now or are we good? You are actually all good now, it's, uh, it's stopped smoking. I told you, the Range Rover is just clearing its pipes out a little bit, it's, you know, it's just getting used to me as a new owner saying hello. I'd just like to report that this BMW is lovely. And do you know what? It looks really smart from behind. It looks really clean. I mean, that that is not a £1,000 sub car, is it? It doesn't feel like it from where I'm sitting, definitely. Equally, this Range Rover has has no right being two grand. First impressions of the Range Rover was slightly concerned about the smoke, but that seems to have disappeared. The temperature gauge is uh, scraping up a little bit more. The lower suspension is knackered, obviously, but that's a cheap fix but it is so luxurious, it's so quiet in here. I feel safe, it is a big old tank. I have every gadget I need. Heated steering wheel for crying out loud, I don't know if it works. I mean, look at the size of it. The boot is, it's in a different time zone. It is huge. It's quite quick as well. I mean, it is a twin turbo V8. You know, very, oh yeah, yeah, hello. Oh, don't want to go too fast though. <laughs> Brakes! Oh, this feels lovely. Stick the cruise control on. Look at that, steers in a dead straight line. It's absolutely perfect. It's done 180,900 miles and there is not a single thing that I can find wrong with it. Even the air conditioning works. I can see Alex in my rear view mirror in his Range Rover and I'm just waiting for a cloud of smoke from either the front or the rear because it is inevitable. It is going to happen at some point. Just the whole reliability thing and the whole running cars, they're not so good, but you know, let's not forget this car cost me less than £2,000. What can you get for £2,000 that offers as much unreliability <laughs> as this? Uh... So you join us at Taylor's Unit, which can only mean one thing. 
Both bloody cars have actually made it here, about 15 miles. Taylor, you look impressed. I'm very impressed. This car drove really well. It was smooth, quiet, it, it was economical. Can't fault it, really. Amazing, happy days. And equally, with the Range Rover, we did have a little bit of a sketchy start, lots of smoke. Yeah. But the temperature gauge was holding steady and true. Super comfortable, very pokey as well, as Rory, you found out, because you were behind me in the X5, in my X5, and you couldn't keep up. Nope. So this thing is as... Taylor would say blowers, bloody blowers. It is mate. blowers, yeah, yeah it is. Quick. I mean, you can't really afford it. It's Mercedes engineering at the end of the day. Indeed, it is. So, um, yeah, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed watching this episode and you've also learnt that you can buy some decent tat from an auction like we have done. Thank you again to Car Vertical for sponsoring the episode and also making sure that the tap we did buy wasn't completely ruined because we've got a couple of peaches here. We have indeed. Also, if you guys would like to see us embark on a bit of a road trip, then let us know in the comments. From us for now, thank you very much for watching. Have you got any more words of encouragement? Keep buying tat. There you go, keep buying tat. Thank you very much, have a great weekend. Goodbye.